Probably every one of us has an old laptop, one that we never use, one that is lying around in the corner and collecting dust. So today in this video, I'll be telling you the best use of that laptop. So hi friends, I'm Vandit from Android Planet, and without any further ado, let's get started. So, when you think about the laptop parts, then things like RAM, the hard disk, the processor, the processor fan might come in your mind. But did you ever think what can be used of that old lying hard disk? The hard disk that is very small in size, has a capacity of around 500 GB and actually it's 320 GB in my case, but it can be very useful. And today in this video, I'll be telling you how can you use that old internal hard disk and convert it into an external hard disk and make it portable. So you'll be using that internal hard disk and convert it into an external portable hard drive. So let's get started. So the first thing you need is a SATA 2.5 case. I ordered it via Flipkart and got it delivered within 3 to 4 days. It costs roughly around 380 or 390 depending on where you live and the delivery charges and uh, it helps you to convert an internal hard drive into an external one. So first you have to order one. For example, I ordered the terabyte 2.5 SATA case. And if you are using the hard drive from a computer, then make sure that it, you order a 3.5 SATA case because laptops use a 3. Point, sorry, laptops use a 2.5 inch SATA case, whereas computers use a 3.5 SATA case. So that's the difference. And even the computer hard, hard disks need a lot of power. So they even provide us an adapter, but the laptop ones, they require much less power and are very small in size as well. So first let's see what all do we get inside the box. So inside the box, we obviously get this hard drive case. Then we get this USB cable. Like, yeah, it looks like this. It's a micro USB A to a male USB. Then we also get a screwdriver. We get a case like this. It's made up of leather, but it's of very bad quality and I think I'll never use it. We also get a screwdriver and we get two screws as well. So the first step of our procedure involves getting the hard disk out of your laptop, then putting it inside the case. So I'll show you how it looks when it's put inside the case. So the inside of the case looks something like this. One IC and one case. This case is made up of steel and weighs around 150 or 160 grams and the inside is made up of plastic and it's very light. So you have to put the hard disk inside this. So without the hard disk, it looks like this and with the hard disk, it looks something like this. So yeah, it's similar to this with the hard disk and you have to be very careful while putting the hard disk because you can bend this IC if you don't do it carefully. And if you bend it, then this complete product is going to get wasted. So once that is done, you just have to put the case. So you have to make sure that these holes are aligned with these small holes. So I know you might not be able to see it in the video, but you have to align the holes so that you can put the screws. So I'll just do that and I'll be back soon. So once you put it inside the case, the next step is putting the screws. You have to use the screwdriver provided and then tighten the screws. Now you can use this hard disk or whatever you call it hard drive to connect it to your laptop using the cable provided which is this cable which has a micro USB A end and a main USB end as well and you can connect it to your phone as well using an OTG cable and that is what I'll be showing you today in this video. So for connecting to your phone you need an OTG cable similar to this. Now just set it up and for setting it up first you need to connect the micro USB provided to the hard disk. Then connect the other end of the USB cable to your OTG cable. Now connect this whole thing to your phone. So I'm connecting it to a Redmi Note 3. Your phone might or might not support OTG, but you can always check by doing so. And as you can see, my phone has detected the USB drive. And I can access the USB drive just by clicking it. And you have to make sure that you have a file manager installed on your phone that supports USB OTG. I'm using Ace File Manager, but you can use any other file manager of your choice. So that's pretty much it for this video. And if you guys like this video, then go ahead, press the red subscribe button and the notification bell icon so that you get notified every time we upload a video. Don't forget to press the thumbs up button and 
do leave your comments in the comment section below. Do anything but leave your comments, be it positive or negative. Just let us know how can we improve in the future. So, bye bye now. You guys have a great day.